Hey guys, Ghostbusters 122 here, aka Ghostman, I'm back today for a brand new Minecraft Let's Play. And today, guys, we are here on this beautiful world that's raining for some reason. Anyway, this is a mod review for the great Mo Emerald mod, guys. This is an awesome mod that I found, and I decided I wanted to do a mod review for it. So I'm gonna show you what is in this from food to, to, to like ores to. To swords, to weapons, to tools, to, to, to even, even our mods, mobs, mobs, not mods, mobs. So, if you guys don't know already, I'm a huge fan of the emeralds in Minecraft. I always have been, always will be. Because I felt it is an unrespected ore. So, I've, I've decided that I want to do this video. I decided I wanted to do this. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, there are several different emerald tools. Every tool imaginable. And as you can see, to make a beautiful emerald pickaxe, you need two sticks, three emeralds. To make an emerald sword, you need one stick, two emeralds. Basically, all the same recipes as you would need for a regular tool, just in emeralds. Now, that's one, that's one. It's, it's missing an emerald. It has to have an emerald there. But that's a surprise for later. This is how you make the emerald armor the same way you'd make any regular armor. I just put that there for looks, you know? So you put all, you put out, uh, you need eight emeralds, you need, you, well actually, yeah you need first, you need eight emeralds, then you need five, then you need seven, and then you need four. So all in all, that's how you make the emerald armor. Everybody, and as, as, as you can see, I was wearing it, but, hmm. oh well. But, still. As you can see, there are also other tools as well. There is the emerald bow. You put three emeralds here and three string down here to make yourself an emerald bow. To make yourself emerald arrows, you need an emerald rod, a feather, and flint. Just like so. I could be doing I could be doing this totally incorrectly, so forgive me if I am wrong on how to make an arrow. It might be this and that. However you make an arrow, but you have yourself an emerald rod. To make a Emerald katana, you would need one emerald sword and an emerald like so. To make an emerald kafoshesh, kafoshesh, foshesh, foshesh, I don't know, I don't know. But you would need one stick, emerald here, and emerald ka. So, also, guys, this is probably just gonna be one of the only videos I post for right now, guys, until my FPS is fixed, because it's lagging even now. But there are also other weapons as well. This is the Emerald Staff. I'm going to show you what you do to use that later on. But guys, the, oh, to make this beautiful Emerald Staff, you need one stick. One, two sticks, actually. There and there. And one Emerald right there. With the Emerald Rod, you can make an Emerald Dust in your inventory if you go into the crafting recipe. To make an em to make a Blaze Rod. Well, actually, to make it, you need uh, this and... Emerald dust, I believe. It could be an emerald. I could be wrong. I don't know. Because I'm stupid, but... I'm not gonna check the forums. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. To make yourself a big emerald sword. Yes, that's what she said. Big and brown. No. 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 Anyway. To make it, you need one emerald block. Uh, in the middle. One stick parallel parallel to it. Emerald yeah, there, 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 and there. And that is how you make yourself a uh, emerald staff. Up here, we go into the emerald foods themselves. To make yourself an awesome emerald apple, you have yourself one emerald and one apple. It makes three in the inventory. To make emerald seeds, which you can use to grow more and more emeralds, you can use the... Uh, you just put one emerald in the inventory. To make yourself an awesome emerald cake, you need two emerald seeds, one egg, three wheat, and three buckets of milk. Now, as you can see, I have a bunch of them borderlining, borderlining right there, right there, right there, all there, all along, all along there, there. Let's move on. So, to make an emerald star, you need one em, you need one nether star and emeralds all around. You're gonna have to do a lot of work to get that. To make yourself an emerald battle axe, you need five emeralds and two sticks, like so. To make yourself an emerald bone, which will be useful later on, everybody. You need one emerald and one, well actually, no, you need emerald dust and one bone. I'm sorry, I'm talking, I'm saying so many emerald here. Emerald, emerald, emerald! As you can see right here, to make an emerald torch, you just need one stick and emerald dust. 
Oh no, I like that. To make yourself an emerald furnace, you need fna like eight. Is that eight? Yeah, that's eight. That's eight. Eight emeralds around one furnace to make yourself an emerald furnace. Yeah. But over here we have the flint and the flint and emerald, which you just need one flint and one emerald. Now, this is the Emerald Beacon. I'm going to show you guys what that does later on. Um, but to craft it, you just need one emerald. And blah, 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 that's about five, that's about seven cobblestone right there. As you can see that right there. You have to do it in the exact way or else it will not work. Also, over here we have the Emerald Obsidian. I'm going to show you the comparison between the two. But to make it, you need four obsidian and one emerald in the middle just like this. To make an emerald slab, you need three emeralds all the way across. To make an emerald staircase, you need six emeralds like so. To make yourself an, um, uh, an emerald obsidian door, you need six emerald obsidian like so. So I'm going to now go ahead and show you guys the difference between the two. Uh, right there, it has a green, as you can see. They, even ha they only have a small difference in the inventory, but... They do look very similar. The green, the emerald is gr slightly green tinted, which I really think is actually kind of cool. So, uh, I mean, that's that's pretty good, right? 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 Okay. Let's let's uh, let's see. Am I missing anything else in here? Of course, I'm not. Over here, we have the emerald door itself. Six emeralds made as so. This is the emerald lamp. To make that, you need four glowstone blocks as so, and one emerald in the middle. To make yourself a emerald TNT, which is actually a lot more powerful, by the way, than regular TNT, it makes a lot much larger blast. So, <laughs> if they ever put an emerald creeper in here, I better be scared. But how you make it, you have to put it in this in this order correctly: four emeralds like so, and five gunpowder like so. Now, guys, there is also a potion and splash potion in this mod. It is called the Emerald Potion. You get all the effects, but nausea too. But I don't know what that means. So how you craft it, you need one bottled water, one go one notch apple, one emerald dust, one emerald apple, two emerald rods, and one emerald to make that. And honestly, I like that. Is there anything in here? No. And no. But guys, I will go ahead and I will show you real quickly how, what the effects are when you drink this potion. I have major nausea. Look at all those effects. Regenerate invisibility, water, resi water breathing, fire resistance. Re well, resistance, regeneration, nausea 2, jump boost 2, instant health, strength, haste, speed 2, and night vision 2. And I think that's actually really cool. It does make you like go a lot. Yeah. But, yeah. So over here, guys, as you can see, we have these two seeds. What are they, you might ask? Well, I'm going to show you in a minute, in just one second. As you can see, there are these little plants. But, when we do this... Flash game! Hold on. Game mode zero. Flash game mode zero. As you can see, when I break the block, I get an emerald. And, let's see, that's, that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, it's awesome. But, um, slash game mode one. But, over here, let's go ahead and get into the mobs. So, as you can see, we have right here the emerald golem. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take up the three eggs that are in the mod for him. This is an em emerald golem right here. This is an egg for it. Now, you can, I believe you can, though, craft it. So, I mean, check him out. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, whatever. 
But right there, right in here, right in here is the Emerald Wolves. And to uh, tame them, you will though need Emerald Bones. Let's see if they will react to our kindness. See, he's he's dancing to the music. He's dancing and sitting and standing and sitting and being all like that. But to finish this off, just before we use, start showing you what the tools can do, let's go ahead. These are emerald cows. Oh, if these would have helped Dorothy get to the Emerald City, I would really probably love that movie a lot more. But when you kill them. I don't know what happens because I have not truly experimented. But before we go ahead and kill them all, just check this out. This is more powerful than any armor or weaponry in the game. In regular bucket or uh, vanilla. But still, with the regular emerald sword, it does 10 attack. With the battle axe, it does 11. With the katana, it does 13. And with the emerald kafoshash, kafoshash. It's 12 attack, and for the big sword, it's 14 hearts. But over in here, we have this. The Emerald Ho. Beautiful. The Emerald Axe does 10 attack. Frankly. Frankly. I'd say stick with the axe. The Emerald Pickaxe is 9. 9 damage. And the Emerald Spade is 8. Now, we're going to go ahead and get into these two things right now. As we speak. Now... Again, guys, I'm sorry if this video is boring, but I'm lagging. I honestly am. I'm lagging when I'm recording this, which is a first for me. But still. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the emerald, flint, emerald and flint. As you can see, it does makes a green fire like a boss. And so on. But this next part... Well, you know what? I can just show you right now. This is the Emerald Staff, and this is what's going to be the final thing. This is what happens. This honestly, is what happens. We're digging a hole in China. Check it. Like a boss. This is it. So, I mean, all in all, amazing. I give this mod, frankly, a 10 out of 10 for one, being emerald related. First off, emeralds, awesome. Or, I feel it's been unreally explored in the world of Minecraft. And frankly, I'd like to see something like this possibly in 1.9 for the next update. Um, and frankly, I give it a 10 up, 10 up, 10, 10, 10 thumbs up because, 2 thumbs up, and 10 out of 10 because also it has done something not very many people have really ever thought of, frankly. Emerald's unused. I think I want to see it. But not only that, guys. Also, 1.8 is now officially out, guys. But many servers do not have it yet. Because many of the bucket list add-ons and expansions are not out yet. They're not updated. But, you know what, guys? We can still do Hunger Games, right? Right. Anyway. So, anyway, guys. This is Ghostbusters 122, a.k.a. Ghostbusters signing out. And remember, guys, like a pig, the cow, kill, kill the chicken. Also, check out some of, the, some of my other videos as well. Like and subscribe. And I do hope you did enjoy this video, everybody. I asked to do. I like this mod a lot. And I want to see it expand. Frankly, guys, tell me in the comments below what you think I, nice, cool mod ideas might be. You know what? They might, may or may not ever end up on Minecraft Forge. You know? You just never know. Anyway, guys, this is Ghostbusters 122, a.k.a. Ghostbusters signing out. And remember, guys, it's a big, it's a cow, heel, come the chicken. Also, check out, check out some of my other videos as well. Like and subscribe. Tell all your friends, family, anyone who gives a crap about Minecraft, check out my channel. Like and subscribe. I know I don't say that very often, guys, but you know what? I, I want to, I want to expand this channel out a lot. But, anyway, I'll see you guys all next time.